Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are well by the grace of the Almighty. In the previous class we pre prepared to approach transformation. Now we know how a simple complex or compound sentences are formed. We also know how things can be changed from one form to another. We will have to transform the phrases into clauses or the clauses into phrases. The following chart may help you a lot. Can you see the chart? Yes, you can. Memorize the chart so that you can make a prompt reply. And I think it will be very helpful for you to learn transformation. Now let us see the application in the examples. In the very first example, the news is too good to be true. Complex, the news is so good that it cannot be true. Compound, the news is very good and it cannot be true. In this example, an infinitive phrase has been turned into an adverbial clause of purpose. Then, in the second example, we are bold enough to overcome the challenge. Simple. Complex is, we are so bold that we can overcome the challenge. Compound, we are very bold and we can overcome the challenge. If you look carefully, you can see that an infinitive phrase has been turned into an adverbial clause of purpose. Then come to the example number three. The oceans of the world don't contain enough water to wash away the guilt of the sinners. There is only one finite verb that is don't contain and so it is a simple sentence. The complex of the sentence is the oceans of the world don't contain so much water that it can wash away the guilt of the sinners. The compound is the oceans of the world don't contain much water and it cannot wash away the guilt of the sinners. So an infinitive phrase to wash away has been turned into an adverbial clause of purpose. Then look at the example number four. The people violating the lockdown are in the risk of being affected. Here violating the lockdown is a present participle phrase. It is acting like an adjective. If we turn this adjective phrase or the present participle phrase into a clause, then we will get the complex. The complex will be the people who are violating the lockdown are in the risk of being affected. The compound of the sentence is the people are violating the lockdown and they are in the risk of being affected. Then go to the example number five. The as loaded with gold has to climb to the top of the castle. This is simple because to climb is the only non-finite verb and has is the only finite verb. Loaded with gold is another non-finite verb. This is past participle phrase. So if we can turn this past participle phrase into a clause, then we will get the complex. The complex of the sentence is the as which is loaded with gold has to climb to the top of the castle. The compound of the sentence is the as is loaded with gold and it has to climb to the top of the castle. Then go to the example number six. Because of making noise, the students were rebuked. The complex of the sentence is as the students made noise, they were rebuked. The compound, the students made noise and so 
they were rebuked. Then example number seven. In spite of their earnest attempt, they failed to prevent the situation. Though they attempted earnestly, they failed to prevent the situation. They attempted earnestly but failed to prevent the situation. Example number eight. A barking dog seldom bites. Here a barking dog is subject and it's a noun phrase. You know a noun phrase has three parts determiner, modifier, headword. Here the word barking is a modifier and we will make a clause using the modifier. The dog which barks seldom bites. This is complex. The compound will be the dog barks and it seldom bites or it may be like this the dog barks and it does not bite. Then example number nine. Sachin Tendulkar, the living legend of cricket, is an Indian. You can see here the living legend of cricket is inverted into two comma. This is called noun in apposition. Whenever you get some noun in apposition in a sentence, you need to use a relative pronoun to make it a clause. Sachin who is the living legend of cricket is an Indian and the compound will be Sochin is the living legend of cricket and he is an Indian. So a noun in apposition has been turned into an adjective clause. Then example number 10. We maintain discipline to lead a better life. Here maintain is the only finite verb so there is only a single clause and it's a simple sentence. To lead a better life it's an infinitive phrase. So if we can turn this infinitive phrase into a clause then we will get the complex or compound. To lead a better life implies purpose. There are four words like these to with a view to in order to and for. These four words imply purpose and then we can use the subordinate conjunction so that to make it a complex sentence. We maintain discipline so that we can lead a better life. If we want to make it compound then we will have to change the subordinate conjunction. We may do like this. We want to lead a better life and so we maintain discipline. This is better but the best can be like this. We maintain discipline and lead a better life. Example number 11. If there is only a single finite verb and there is no other non-finite verb then we may need to use an impersonal it to make it a complex. The compound is quite unusual but if we are insisted we can do it. A watch counts time. Simple. Counts is the only finite verb and there is no other non-finite verbs. So the complex is it is a watch that counts time. The compound is it's a watch and it counts time. Analyzing the examples we can come to a conclusion that transformation is the art of turning phrases into clauses and clauses into phrases and I have tried my level best to make things clear for you. For better understanding you may take the help of the phrase and clause chapter of the Ren and Martin's high school English grammar and composition. You have already got a practice book of Chaudhuri and Hussain and there are 60 model questions and some board questions in it. I want to solve I want you to solve the problems with simple, complex and compound in those questions. You will get it in item number 7, no sorry, item number 6. Consider it to be your homework. Remember, perseverance has no other alternative. I repeat, 
perseverance has no other alternative thank you my dear students allah hafiz stay home be happy